Hello and welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name's Michelle and today I'm going to be sharing with you everything that I packed in my day of wedding bag. We're married. I'm, ah, I'm so excited. It's over with all of the planning, all the months, and actually two years of getting this all set up is like done and over with, and it was an absolute amazing day. There were a few bumps along the way, but I'll share those as we kind of get going. But if you've been following along on our wedding vlogs, I've shared everything from prep to all the DIY that I did, all of the decor for the wedding, I either went out and found or made myself, as well as like DIY gifts for our groomsmen and bridesmaids. And if you are getting married, pretty much check out my wedding playlist because I think you would really find it helpful if anything, just gather some inspiration on what you could do for your wedding day. Before we get into the bag, there was a few things that I did to kind of like prep myself for my wedding day. And I have it all on my phone. I kept a list because I didn't want to like lose track of anything as the days went on because it all sort of feels like a blur. It goes by so quickly. So something I did to save a couple of bucks and because of everything that's going on was do my own nails. And because we got to our hotel and up to the area that we were getting married a few days early, my daughter and I just kind of like hung out in the hotel room one night and watched a movie and did our nails. I wanted it to last all weekend without fail, without having to like think about it chipping or wearing down. So I decided to go with a gel manicure. I used the Nail Addict Los Angeles. It was their base coat, their shade color in Marry Me, which I thought was only appropriate. It's this beautiful baby pink. And once we get pictures back from the photographer, I'll see if I can like post something on Instagram because I don't think, just in all the chaos, I don't think I took a picture of me wearing this. I'm so sorry, I don't have one to share with you. And then I topped it off with the no wipe top coat and then I just brought like a little LED lamp to set it all and it was pretty easy. It didn't really take too long, maybe 45 minutes because you know we were sitting and chatting and just kind of like taking my time and it lasted all weekend. If anything, it lasted into the next week. So I was really impressed with this. I have a few other colors that I got when I like put in my order with them. This was sent as PR like a few weeks ago but it wasn't for this intention. Like I was just gonna like post a picture on Instagram like using the product, but I decided to end up using it for the wedding and it worked out perfectly, figured I would share that. So something else I kind of wanted to save some money on was doing my own tan. And I have been using products from this brand for a little while now and I've shared them with you before. It is from Bondi Sands. And I was in Walgreens and I saw that they had like a lotion version, this one here. And I was like, you know what? I wanna try it out. I want something that's going to be effortless and smooth and hydrating. And I felt like the other products worked really well for the tan, but I wanted that like extra, I wanted the lotion. I wanted that extraness. And this worked so well. I felt so glowy and amazing on my wedding day. It didn't stain like the sheets the night before when I was getting all prepped. I applied this to myself two days leading up to the wedding. I didn't have any issues with it, no streaking or weird lines or nobody knew that I had a fake tan other than like, oh, you're so glowy. And this is why. I really liked the application of the lotion over the foam and the oil. So I think I'm gonna stick with the lotion moving forward. On that note of like skincare, my skin was breaking out so bad. Like I think it was just from stress and hormones and it was hot and everywhere we went, we had to wear a mask. So it was just a lot of my poor skin. So I brought with me my little Foreo, little um, UFO sort of device. This is where you kind of pop off this little ring here. You apply a little facial pad. Foreo has some of their own. This one's like a nighttime one because I already used the daytime one that I had packed to go with me. And you just kind of pop it back over there and then massage your face. It uses ultrasonic waves to kind of like jiggle and wave in all those amazing ingredients that are in the mask. I actually ended up keeping my unit in the fridge and then custom setting it in my phone because there's like an app where they like talk to each other and I kept it on the cool setting and it just, it felt so good, especially on my inflamed, irritated acne. I didn't want to use the heat setting because this does get warm too if you want it to. I really wanted to cool down the inflammation and this felt so, so good. I cannot express to you like how this funny little gizmo made such a big difference for me. It made me just feel more beautiful on my wedding day because it kind of like softened everything, kept everything nice and smooth. Yes, I still had some breakouts on my wedding day, but they were a lot 
more moisturized and easier to cover with makeup and that's pretty much all I was going for at that point. Now let's talk about sleep because I just mentioned how stressful the week leading up to the wedding is. I uh, I'm so grateful that the two nights leading up to the wedding I had some amazing sleep in the hotel and it's because of these few items that I brought with me. One, you know I'm going to mention this. It's my little eye bra as I call them. It's just a bubbled eye mask that I get off of Amazon for like 10 bucks for a three pack. I love these. I've talked about them. I can't even count how many times here on my channel. I am going to forever need one of these to sleep now. Something else that I brought with me that really helped just get me comfortable and feel at home without being at home was my own pillow. And this was sent to me at the beginning of the summer as PR. And I wasn't sure how much I was going to get use out of it. I brought it to travel with and using it here at home. I, uh, it came with me to Sedona for my bachelorette weekend um, and of course for our wedding weekend. It's from Sleep and Glow and it's an ergonomic, I hope that's the right word, face cradling pillow. So I'm a side sleeper, just always have been. But if you notice when you're like side sleeping, your face gets all smushed and then your neck kind of gets all cramped up. So what this pillow does is it kind of has this like special carved out area on either side in case you're a flipper flopper like I am. And it just kind of like cradles your face. This is hard to do sitting up. It looks so weird. But it kind of like gives some space so that you're not having the pressure on your face, which is going to, in the long run, help prevent wrinkles, puffiness, irritation to the skin, and even breakouts. Think of it contact with your pillowcases, your blankets, with even sporting gear, headbands. It can all cause clogged pores and bacteria to kind of fester. That's where this comes in. I know it's such a goofy thing because it's a pillow, but I had to share that with you that I have brought that everywhere with me. That and my domed eye masks are, it has changed my sleeping habits. Another thing I brought with me, and I forgot to bring it in here to show you, is a room spray. I got it in a FabFitFun box eons ago, and I can never remember the name, so I'll put a picture up here because I know I've talked about it before, but I did bring that with me and kept it on my nightstand at the hotel, and just would spritz over the bed and over the room when it was time for me to like chill out, relax, and sleep. And again, I'm telling you, those two nights leading up to the wedding, I, I don't think I've slept better. It's really weird. <laughs> You'd think I would be like over the top anxious, and I was nervous, but I don't know. I just, I, maybe I was so dead tired that I just like conked out, but it worked. And the last thing, just a little tip of like prepping for the day, like days leading up to the wedding, were luggage cubes because it helped me keep my luggage nice and organized. I would put like my sundresses in one and my like intimates and things like that in another and t-shirts in another, bras and all that all separated into my bag. So I would just pull out, grab what I needed and go. I'm using my hands a lot today. <laughs> uh, and those came ironically in a FabFitFun box too. And I am glad I added an extra set because I use those so much it, it totally brings you to like the next level of like organization when you're traveling and it just feels so good to be able to find what you're looking for okay so let's move on to what is in this big beautiful bag i ended up oh, i ended up making up this purchase and investing in this bag from fawn design it is not cheap it is definitely an investment piece at least in my opinion i never spend this much on bags but we have a couple of trips coming up and a couple of things that I would need something like a big duffel like this. And I know I'm gonna get some great use out of it as long as I take care of it. It also has this big wide opening so you can see everything that's inside. It has individual compartments kind of like on the side. First thing off the top is my little binder. So I recommend that if you aren't using a wedding planner and you have like a day of coordinator or maybe some friends helping you set up, that you come up with something like this. It's just like a soft little binder folder. I sketched out the whole venue, where everything was gonna go. I put in our timeline for the day, everything from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m pretty much on five minute increments of who is arriving when, what is happening when, what song is playing for each step. Everything is being communicated to everyone. I also had a list of our vendors and their contact information. 
our table set up and who was supposed to be sitting at what table and then like pictures throughout the venue that I had taken it when we had toured and like little instructions on what goes in that area so it helped the setup so 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 much I put some inspiration pictures in here and just ideas and the things I had like mocked up here at the house that I wanted to look like on my wedding day and it just made the morning of so seamless my day of coordinator love this it resulted in me having minimal interaction with the setup and i could just like sit there and get ready in the morning which oh, i highly recommend something else i highly recommend bring some mega babe you are going to thank yourself later for this I've talked about these products as well on my channel before because I love them so much and I'm so glad I brought them with. So this here is the Boob Dust. It's an anti-boob sweat with lavender and aloe, no talc, and no parabens. It's like a little puff powder sort of nozzle and it just kind of like sends out some powder. We use this throughout the night. I would kind of like shoot it down my dress. My bridesmaids did too because it was warm. It was the summer. We got married in September, like it was hot. And this made it so much more just comfortable for us. It doesn't necessarily help with like scent, so you still need deodorant and things like that, but it helped with just the sweat situation. Now this one here, I call it a barrier cream. This is the Thigh Rescue Anti-Friction Stick. This helped out because my straps of my dress had little bits of lace that kind of stuck off. And even though I had the dress pretty much torn apart and made to my body, I was really swollen and like hot that day. So we rubbed the friction stick everywhere that I was starting to get little bits of irritation and it made it so much more comfortable. I don't know how I would have gotten through the night with having like little bits of irritation without that barrier cream. So that saved the wedding. On that note of like body care and sweating, bring some spray on Dove deodorant. I've talked about this too. I have since kind of come away and found a more natural deodorant that I use on a daily basis, the native brand. But I do keep this handy for when I'm on the go or if I know I'm having a busy, crazy day and I wanna know like no ifs, ands, or buts that I'm gonna have any like smelling issues. And I had this out on like the little counter in our little bridal suite that we were getting ready. My photographer came in. She's like, can I use that? I was like, yeah, of course. And everyone that came in, they're like, can I, can I use that? Because it was hot. And it was nice that it was hygienic because it's a, a spray on. So definitely pack you some Dove. I wrote down that I also packed a travel size lotion and body wash as well as like a little sundress to change into at the end of the night. Like once everybody's left, last song has played i wanted just an easy to throw on little sundress because the bridal suite we were staying at had like a little shower so i was able to rinse off my body real quick because again sweatiness <laughs> galore and i just wanted to feel good and comfortable when like getting our stuff into the car and like going to the hotel that night something that was really important for me and it's a silly little detail but i really wanted this was a specific perfume to wear just for my wedding day and my plan is to maybe only spritz this on like special date nights or our anniversary or other special moments so that this scent kind of brings up those memories and this is the jimmy choo i don't know i just got it at ulta i'll put the name of everything and like links to everything that i'm able to find in the description box down below but it's just the pretty pink version I don't know I smelled so many in the store that day and this was the one that I was like oh that's it so I had to have it and I know it's a little pricey it was like 60 bucks and the moment that kind of like brought it to that like special aspect was Logan and I getting our first little hug when we were kind of like walking away to do pictures he kind of like gave me a like a really deep embrace and he like smelled my neck and he's like you smell so good and mind you, I'm like sweaty and gross at that point because we had done, you know, our ceremony and everything already. And I was like, thank you. It's my new perfume. This is our wedding perfume. So it made it totally worthwhile. And don't forget your phone charger. I don't think I have mine in here, but I wrote it on my notes. Don't forget a phone charger. You're going to be so all over the place and you're going to want to be able to like check it randomly throughout the day or not check it at all. I actually don't feel like I was on my phone a lot and I hardly took any pictures. I think I took like four pictures earlier on when things were getting set up. But if it's really important for you to be in contact with people, 
Although that's what your day of coordinator's for, like send everybody that direction. I don't know, I just brought my phone charger, wanted to remind you to put it in your bag. Something else that would be a really cute idea is a little hanger for your dress. This one here was gifted to me by my sister. I think she just got it at Kohl's, but it says like Mrs. and it's just so cute. Um, the photographer helped me get my dress onto this hanger and she went out and took some really beautiful like still photos of the dress before I put it on. And this just kind of gave it that little like extra touch than just like a cheap, plastic hanger from like the dress store. What else do I have in here? Hand sanitizer. So this was one of those things because it's me. I wanted to decant the Durex hand sanitizer because those bottles aren't cute into a, like a fancier glass bottle that I just picked up at Home Goods for like five bucks. So it's a cute, not necessary type of thing, but I don't know, I liked it. <laughs> It made it nice so like when you're taking pictures getting ready, you're not having like, I don't know, like clunky stuff in the background. What else did I bring with me? Shoes. Of course my wedding shoes, which I did not bring in here to show you, but I did pack a pair of like matching flats and I wore these to death. They're already like peeling up, which is really sad because these were not cheap. These are the Bagley Mishka Jewel collection from Macy's and they're kind of like sparkly, but yeah, some flats to wear when your feet are starting to get to that point where like I can't walk anymore because you've been dancing so much and just in the moment and enjoying everything. So I went and had a restroom break and changed into my flats and I was able to enjoy the rest of the evening without thinking like I wanna rip my feet off. And while I was on those bathroom trips, cause I did have to take a couple, you know me, I'm always going, okay? Little TMI, but whatever. I would touch up my face. Yes, I had a professional makeup artist do my makeup for the day of, which is, I know, Sounds silly because I do makeup and I do weddings as well, but I don't know, this was one of those things where everybody just kept saying to me like, no Michelle, hire somebody. Like you will not regret it and I don't regret it. She was so sweet. I was literally in the middle of like having like crying fits and mental breakdowns and I'm like, I could not imagine doing my own makeup with this level of stress going on. Cause there was some stuff that happened in the morning that I was like, is this even gonna happen? Oh my gosh, all this stuff's going on. So even with how much I prepared for the day and had my folder and binders and people to support me and be there for me, there was still bumps along the road, okay. <laughs> um, anyways, the makeup that I brought with me to kind of like touch up along the way were the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Concealer. This is in light medium, it's like a creamy, random concealer that I got like in an Ipsy box a while ago, but what I've noticed over time with using this is that it's so forgiving and creamy, but not greasy and shiny like the It Cosmetics one can be, that it does touch-ups so nicely. I felt like on our wedding day, that's like when Logan and I have kissed the most within like a short amount of period ever, and all of the makeup in this area had just worn off, just from pictures and pictures and video and all of that. So I'm glad I brought this with to kind of touch up my red nose. I also brought some lip products with me and I have a little mishmash cause they were for like different purposes and they're all very similar colors. So these Dosa colors were actually recommended to me by my makeup artist and I immediately went out and bought them cause I was like, she put them on me and I was like, I have, I have to have them. So one is in the shade Sand, which is a very neutral, light, almost concealer-like shade. The next one is in Truffle. And then I got a gloss called Can You Not? Again, these are all dose of colors. And I would just mix the two matte shades on my lips real quick and then put the gloss over it. And this was really comfortable to wear throughout my ceremony. So this is what I wore for the ceremony and leading into pictures. Now for the rest of the night, I wanted something super quick. I didn't want to be mixing, you know, three different things on my lips throughout the rest of the night. So I brought my Charlotte Tilbury KKW lipstick, which again is a very fair, very nude shade. But when you put the, my favorite lip gloss, again, I've talked about this before, the crushed oil infused gloss from Bobbi Brown. This is in the shade in the buff. When you put this on top of here, it kind of deepens it ever so slightly. And this gloss is not sticky, it's not gloopy, it's not heavy, it's not even greasy. It's just so, so comfortable. After dinner, I would say, 
from then on this is the combo that I wore and they're very similar in shades in like tone to the Josa color so I don't think you're gonna notice even if you like looked at photographs and put them side by side that there's a difference but I did touch up throughout the night the rest of the night with these of course I had to bring a butter bronzer this is in the shade deep bronze and this is how I just would touch up like the rest of my face you know I'm a bronzer person um, I don't even think I brought blush with me. I had my makeup artist put blush on, but just for touch-ups throughout the night, I hit up just a very faint little butter bronzer. And, oh, and I did apply the concealer with my little e.l.f. sponge. So I have that packed up to show you, too, because I am, oh, I'm obsessed with this little $6 sponge. It is one of the best ones I've ever tried my whole life. Only a couple more things, my friends, I promise. I feel like I've been talking to you forever, which I miss you, so this is like fun. So another thing that kind of goes with the hand sanitizer thing, I wanted to set the mood in the bridal suite. So I did bring a candle with me. This is Champagne Toast from Bath and Body Works. Uh, we got down quite a bit in here. Oh, it's just sweet and light and fun, and it's named Champagne Toast, so it was only appropriate to have burning for my day of and while we were getting ready and it just felt nice and then for my bridesmaids if you watch the gifts that I kind of put together for them I DIY these tote bags and I made one for myself so that I could keep any like little pieces throughout the night or I just needed like another outside bag I know that's a random thing to think about but Believe me, I tried to think of everything. <laughs> and the last thing that I had in my bag was my jewelry. And I didn't wear anything too fancy. None of it is like real gold or diamonds or anything like that. But I really wanted these pretty dainty little pieces. So I just went ahead and picked up these super cute dainty little pieces off Mercari of all places. You know I'm obsessed with that site too. It's a resale site. I have a shop on there if you're interested in checking it out. I'll have a link to it in the description box down below. And that's where I picked out my earrings. I actually got a backup pair. These are more like rose gold, but I didn't end up wearing these. They were a little bit too long. They looked a little too funky. So both of those were off of Mercari. And the bracelets that my daughter and I wore were these matching bracelets. Hers is a little bit thinner than mine, and we got these off of Amazon. And it's just like a rose gold little rhinestone, um, what do they call them, bolo bracelets, where it's got like the little bead that you kind of pull up, and she loved hers too. So we had like matching little bracelets to wear for the day of. And that just kind of made it that little like extra special little detail. But yeah, that's everything that was packed in my day of bag. I can look back and say that it was an amazing, amazing day. I'm really grateful for that. But that is where I'll leave it for now. I probably won't be doing any additional wedding follow-up videos unless requested by you. So let me know if there's anything else that you have some questions about. I'm really hoping to have our like video segment that I am able and willing to like post on YouTube here from our videographer very soon in the next few weeks. So you'll see that kind of come up randomly whenever I get it. Um, other than that, that's where I'll leave it. Lots of exciting things coming up here in the future. I've been working on a lot of things in the like background and I can't wait to share those with you now that I have like a clear mind to be able to focus on those things now that the wedding is like out of here. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.